Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So, I wanted to do a quick speed paint. I don't know if it's gonna be quick actually. I haven't edited the video yet, but I wanted to do a commentary over the clips that I took or the tons of footage that I took working on my kind of choose your own adventure adventure on Patreon um, with a little comic, mini comic called Floral Fire. It's actually I feel like it's turning into a little picture book because there's really no thought bubbles in the drawings themselves so does that really count as a comic anyway so i filmed all of the drawings at this point while i'm doing this commentary or this narration i haven't actually finished the illustrations i am going to be doing them today so you'll probably see that at the end of the video um, I still don't have a clear idea of how I'm going to draw the illustrations, but I have a very clear idea of how it wants, how I want it to end. So basically, I let me just first start off with why I started this this choose your own adventure, which was born out of this challenge for myself to daily doodle every day. I just felt like in the last month, especially under quarantine, I have been really having a hard time getting motivated with a lot of things i haven't really experienced that much art block i just feel like my schedule is in limbo so i wanted to challenge myself with something and the challenge was to draw a little doodle every day and uh, if you saw there in the beginning i was using a little post-it to measure out the drawings that i was going to do i think if you are looking to do like a challenge it's always best to do the drawings fairly small um, because you won't spend too much time there's not a lot of surface area to cover and post-its for me are the perfect size and I've been doing this for quite a while in terms of drawing little doodles they're usually almost always post-it sized so I um, I'm drawing them in post-it sizes and in the beginning too I drew the cover a little bit bigger because I wanted to if I could if it becomes a thing that is possible, put it together into a little zine. So the cover is slightly bigger and then the illustrations within it are going to be um, in the middle. So, and I can even choose to put text over it. Like I'm showing you right now, I could put the text under here and the drawing is fairly like right in the middle and that's the size of the cover itself. So, um, I like to be able to think of something that I'm doing to turn into a project or like a little book I guess is what I'm trying to say. So a lot of the illustrations that I do I kind of have a consistent way of making them so in the end if I ever do want to make an art book or a zine it's possible because I had already formatted it that way in the beginning. Um, so. Uh, that's why I chose the sizes they were because it's easier to draw in a smaller surface every day and it's just um yeah it's just easier and you don't have to be intimidated by the large size of the paper you're working on Thank you. 
so in terms of the story, there were actually three, uh, quote unquote story, there were actually tr three choices of titles. So the three titles patrons could, do, could have chosen from were Transparent Tunnel, A Delicate Copy, and Floral Fire. The, the winning vote was Floral fire, fire, obviously, and then the second winning vote was A Delicate Copy. And so that's what I decided to go with. And then I, the next day, I drew out the cover. And then the next choice would be what is the what starts us off in this little adventure so the three choices were having a drink locked eyes with a, with a beautiful stranger i thought that was going to win actually the next one is the wake is over it was time to clean up and the next one and the last one is thrifting a good find and that's what won so that's what i went with the next day and that's what i drew which is this illustration so you see the character is holding a floral very bright floral shirt so that was how it went the next few days and i really enjoyed this challenge um every day every doodle i've been trying to kind of think outside the box in terms of how i want to present these the story or what's going on that day because i have i, I didn't want to keep drawing too many panels so i limited myself to a maximum of three drawings to show the progression in the story and I've been pretty successful with that. The text obviously helps, you know, back the story up and flesh it out a little bit more because without the text and just the illustrations, it wouldn't really make that much sense. So, so yeah, the text really backs it up and I will, if I do a comic, a little compilation mini zine on this, I will be adding text, which is the stuff that I put on Patreon. So, um, I, I really enjoyed it and I think my patrons enjoy it so I'm gonna be doing it again at some point the next vote today as of this point actually is whether or not we should my patrons want to continue doing the choose your adventure or um, a zine of their theme of their choice or just go back to random daily doodles which is what I started with in the beginning so I would put three choices for them to choose from but I think this is going pretty well. I mean, the story itself is not really like that amazing. It doesn't really make any sense. Like the title, <laughs> the end, um, the ending actually, I decided to do on my own so I can kind of uh, connect the title, Floral Fire, somehow to what's going on within all the choices that have happened. So I decided not to put that to a vote just so it there's a little bit of plot to it, but we'll see what happens.
All these little drawings, these post-it sized drawings are actually going to my light parcel patrons so I'm putting I'm putting them in envelopes randomly unless I hear from a light parcel patron if they have a preference for what doodle they want to get. So yeah, I'm not keeping these. These are going to my patrons because I have, if you watch my vlogs and if you know me, I have a lot of original art that I have in my closet that I need to get rid of. Some of them I sell and put up on my store, but some of them I give away. Sometimes I give them away in orders. If the order is big enough, I will include an original piece. And I think I think that's that's pretty fun to get. I think for the light parcels, it's pretty interesting or it's pretty exciting to know to get something in the mail that you don't know. Like you don't know which doodle you're gonna get, so it's pretty fun, I think anyway. Um, so yeah, today I will be as I'm doing this narration I am going to be finishing up the story and uh, one other thing I wanted to mention in this video uh, I decided to film a lot of this because I um, two weeks ago was contacted by an outfit that does online courses and I am in talks with the, the manager there well not the manager the, the person who is going to be working with me potentially it's still all up in the air but I am going to be putting together an intensive color pencil course. Um, the, 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 the main core of the course is color pencil. Uh, so it'll be that. It'll be my color pencil techniques. And I think um, the, the direction it's headed to is color pen pencil techniques and building up how to work from imagination. Uh, which I feel like is a really hard thing to teach people because imagination is really subjective and it's really I, like some people don't I, I guess this is a scientific thing I'm not sure but I read somewhere that some people cannot really visualize anything in their brains like if you tell somebody to imagine or visualize an apple in their head they don't see anything in their head they just see static um, some people are really good um, imaginers I guess <laughs> or visualizers I guess so if you tell them to visualize an apple and turn it in around in their head they can do that and I think I'm one of those people but I believe that everybody has an imagination obviously so but in terms of teaching how to teaching that and I'll be teaching my tips on how I approach original artwork and coming up with ideas because I feel like I've been I've been drawing a long time and I've learned certain ways to kind of pump up what you when you sit down and think about what you want to draw. I have those days sometimes where I don't know what I want to draw but I have that really strong drive to. Um, so anyway, that is coming up. It won't be in the next week or so. It'll probably, I'll probably be, if it goes ahead and if the contracts are all good, I will probably be working on that for the next couple months. And then the the way it works, you guys get it here at first from here on Patreon because it's still all up in the air. But the way it works is we are going to be advertising uh, the course itself. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything yet. We're just going to be advertising this idea of a course. We're going to be putting together like a little website or a little page that shows what you're going to encounter, what you're going to be learning, and then people will vote for it and sign up with their emails and when you sign up with your emails you are going to get a survey that will ask you what you I think what you expect from the course and what you want to get out from it and stuff like that and what you want to see so once all that information is taken the company or the outfit that I will possibly be working with will work with me to develop the course dependent on what people who signed up with their emails wanted and voted for so it's really quite tailored and that's the once everything once all the information and surveys are taken down that's when I'm going to be making the course
but yeah so that is um something that's in the works i'm not sure if it's gonna work out if it does that it's great i've always i've gotten i've gotten a lot of questions over the years as to how i work with color pencil and also how i draw every day i think i draw every day if not i draw at least five times a week or four times a week so um yeah um uh, Anyway, I really wanted to talk about how this daily doodle challenge was going and I think it's it's a really great exercise and I recommend you to do something like this. Post-it sized illustrations every day, either maybe ask your friends, your family members what they think you should draw and then work from that. Um, or you can just go to a random word generator on a website and do that. But I just, I just really like the idea of illustration series I just like doing them I like seeing all the drawings come together and I like to put them on my table side by side and look at them and I'm like that is very satisfying to me so the thing with the color pencil too I've been trying you know a lot of my work does combine watercolor and pencil crayons uh, I feel like with the size that I'm working with, working with with the post-its, I can just work exclusively with pencil crayons because the surface area isn't too big. But that doesn't really stop me from working with just color pencils on a larger illustration. So I am I'm working up to that. Uh, with these everyday exercises, I'm learning even more techniques compared to what I know now. Um, because it's really sometimes hard to it's hard to get detail when you're working on a surface that has a lot of tooth so that in my opinion anyway it's difficult to get that detail so you have to kind of think outside the box and figure out how to portray what you want on the paper what's in your head on the paper um, you have to kind of think outside the box for ways to do that so what so maybe in your head you have an idea of somebody's you know your character as a portrait but it's not working out you just have to maybe the portrait if the portrait isn't working out you have to drop that idea and do something completely different maybe a silhouette instead or a side profile from a far farther away camera angle or not camera angle from a farther farther away view so uh yeah it's teaching me a lot and it's really fun because i can just go do it I, I just think it's really fun and I recommend you do it so um, if the course does work out uh, I hope you guys check it out and um, it'll be my first time really putting together a course like that together if again if it does work out and I've had a lot of insecurities about teaching if you've been following me for a while I, I feel like I'm not qualified to do to teach anything because a lot of the times when I work a lot of it is just um, decision making and it's a puzzle to me that's why I really love drawing um, the aspect of problem solving that comes along with trying to put an idea an intangible idea into a tangible thing on paper is really quite an exciting challenge for me so that's why I love drawing I kind of see it like as a math equation and I really suck at math so this makes me feel pretty good I just feel like I'm really not qualified to do that but my boyfriend's talked to me about it and I got a couple of comments from uh, some of my followers who watched me on twitch recently and they said like it's not really about that it's about what it's about you they want to learn from you and how you do it so I'm just kind of trying to rein that in and try not to compare myself with other artists who do color pencils as well Chris Hong, she does an amazing Skillshare class and you should check that out if you haven't already. Um, so she just recently did got into color pencils a lot and and it's just really intimidating honestly because she's such a great artist and I'm doing a color pencil course when people can just take that color pencil course. So that's one insecurity which I think I should let go of. Uh, another thing about it is that makes me feel a little better is if I do create the course, it's going to be about illustrating little stories and building up imagination. So I need to think about how to, I need to write down the tips and tricks that I learned myself so I can teach it to other people. But we'll see. I, I'm getting excited about it, but I shouldn't get too excited about it yet because again, it's still in the very beginning stages. 
anyway I also wrote before I end this commentary actually I wanted to talk a little bit more about the illustrations themselves I think um, out of all the drawings my all of them actually I am very surprised I really like all of them so that's really cool uh, and sometimes when I do these challenges there are a lot of drawings that I kind of don't show I post it because I have to post it if it's an everyday challenge but I don't like it but so far I love every single one of them so that's really great and but I still I'm kind of kind of sad that they will be going away but again I think my patrons will appreciate it more than I do because these are just gonna go back into the closet so um, I think though I feel like if I do make it into a mini comic I might redo the cover just make the text a little bit more readable uh, and a little bit better Before I ended, I never talked about why I was looking up flower meanings on the first clip of this video or the first few clips of this video. Um, I wanted to look up meanings of flowers because flowers have so many meanings. So I decided to go with a dandelion because um, it. I feel like I, from what I looked up, it symbolizes dreams, I think dreams and stuff like that because you know dreams and wishes i guess because when you have like um i don't know what the what it's called this fluffy thing when you find this fluffy thing on the in the meadow you pick it up and you blow it and you make, can make wishes on it right so that's why i picked that flower because it it symbolizes dreams and wishes and i think that it's really that's i i want to tie that into the ending of this this little story so you'll probably see that by now at the end of this video um, you have seen what I've done with it and yeah so guys I hope you enjoy this really quick video I, I, I rolled my eyes because I don't know if it's gonna be quick when I edit this but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed me talking over it I know some of a lot of you guys like that but um, I hope you liked it and how I edited it and how the illustrations turned out and I look forward to making another video again. So thank you so much for your support. If you support me on the media tier and above, thank you so much every month. It really, really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next vlog or in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.